Hello, my friends. Hello, Courage Lovers. Welcome to another exciting episode, new episode in our 30 Days Logo Creation. Right? In these 30 days, I'll be showing you how I created various logos inside of Perodro or how you can make it for yourself, right? So if you don't mind, if you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon, right? So I'm just going to start off by creating a page. It's not as safe it matters, but I'll just go on and create a page like this. So I'm using a 7x5. I'm using inches and RGB. Of course, lest I forget, this logo was inspired by a post I saw on Instagram, right? Thumbs up to the creator. I'm just going to show you how you can create this inside of Corel Draw. So I'm going to start with the rectangle like this. Draw your first rectangle. Make sure it's in the middle. You can press P to centralize it. I'm going to give you this color. That's the blue color. And uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make a duplicate copy of this. Make sure to maintain this same amount of space in between the two rectangles. Click the two of them and make sure you right click here to remove the outline, right? It doesn't have any outline. So that's the first step. So I had the um, Nike logo downloaded already. So I'm just going to drag it in here, um, reduce the size just like this and put it by the side here, right? So I'm going to come back for it. So the next thing I'm going to do here is select my rectangle and I'm going to draw a thin rectangle here like this. And we're going to fill it with white. Of course, remove the outline like this. Um, move it up. Make sure you're on your pick tool or your selection tool now. Move it up like this so it doesn't touch the other rectangle below. I'm just going to expand this a little bit so I have good space in between. Right. So um, at this point, I'm going to shift it inside like this to have this here. And um, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this, right? So, but then before then, I'm going to make sure I have this here, right? Um, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy and paste. Or before that, let me just use the pen tool instead. So I'm just going to select the pen tool, draw a line here like this and double click when I get to this point here, right? So this is an outline. I would increase the outline way. So come up here and um, change this to, okay, four is not doing it any good. Let's try this. Okay. I think this is nice enough, but a couple of things we need to do. I'm just going to use my shape to extend this to the top and make sure your point of intersection is above the line. The same thing to here. The point of intersection is outside. So I'm going to right click on the white to give it a white color here like this. Immediately I do that, I'm going to go over to Objects and I'm going to select Convert Objects, Outline to Objects. So it's now an object I can fill it with color. That's what it means, right? So I'm going to position this here at this point of intersect here. So it combines with this line. So the next thing I'm going to do is select the line and select the first rectangle, click on Trim. I can now remove this since I have this trimmed out. Put this aside. Select this one, select its rectangle and click on Trim to right so i won't be needing this any longer so i'll just click and delete it so i have this right so the next thing i like to do is click on this guy here so i'm just going to rotate it click and rotate like this right and uh, what you want to do is i'm going to do that again bring it inside like this right click and rotate like this Make sure it's straight. Then hold down shift to maintain the straight line. Position it here and Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Place this one also at this point. All right. So what you want to do is hold down shift, select the two of them and click on weld. All right. So when you click on weld, select this, move it outside a bit. Then select, select this one, hold down shift, select the rectangle and click on trim. So you no longer hand that. So delete that. So you're left with these guys now, all right? So um, what you want to do is um, a little bit of modification that I want to apply here. So I'm just going to shift the node. Um, this is too much. I'm just going to shift it. I'm using my arrow key, my right arrow key to actually shift the node. Make sure you're selecting with your shape too. All right, so I have it at this point. I'm good to go. So the next thing I, I want to do now is 
I'm going to ungroup this. It's an SVG file. You can get this online. Just search Google search for SVG Nike logo. Then you get this, right? So I'm just going to bring this inside here like this. I'm going to rotate it this way, right? I'm going to place it here. So it's going to be double placements. I'm going to use this to form the N shape. So I'm going to put this one here, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. But this time around, I'm going to click on this to mirror it so it's facing downwards. So I have my N the way it's supposed to be. Rotate it as it should be like this. And of course, you might want to also reduce the size. Hold down Shift while you're doing that. So you reduce the size proportionally. So I'm just going to bring this down here like this and have this this way. So you can see from look of things, I'm just going to trim it. First one, trim that, click on this, delete it since you've trimmed it with it. Select this one, click on this guy first, click on this, trim it, click on this, click on this end and trim it so you can delete it. And at the end of the day, this is what you have. So you can also delete this one because we no longer have any need to use this, right? So at this point, um, you have these two shapes. So select all of them like this, mark you select them and weld them together like this. Okay. So you have your nice N-I-K-E for Nike. So I'm just going to use my text to type, just do it like this. And um, of course, change the font to the one I used. Um, of course, you know, I'm a big lover of the Montserrat font. If you don't have this font, you can get it in the Smart Designer Assets. The link to download that is in the description of this video. So do yourself a favor to get yours to today. So I'm just going to position this here and I'm going to make it blue. Or better still, I'm going to move it inside here like this. While I change the color to white like this. Okay, so... Um, and nicely done right so guys if you've not gotten your um coral draw flyer templates the link to download these flyers is in the description of this video so do well to click the link in the description of this video to get yours today all right guys this was how i was able to create this logo inside of coral draw stay tuned to my 30 days of logo creation in coral draw and if you've not subscribed, now is the best time to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the videos I'll be dropping anytime from now. Right? Share this video, like this video, and drop your comments if there is any particular logo design you want me to create. I'll see you in the next video.